Hey everybody, it's Paul, the screenwriting scribe. You know, the guy who's the nerd around screenwriting software. Today, I wanna to talk to you about three free, yes, you heard that right, three free products they can use to help with your pre-writing uh, when you use Fade In. Now, as you know, I really like Fade In. As you can see, I've been working on a script uh, for my Chaplin series, and it's been really nice, and I really enjoy using Fade In. The problem with Fade In, though, is there's not a lot of pre-writing tools. So let me show you what Fade In has. Uh, so if we go back to Document, we can see that there are index cards. And so we can take a look at each scene from the index card type of view. But there's nothing if we look through Documents and simply select the index uh, cards again if you want to get back to your script. Uh, but if you look at Documents, there's not anything else that really is helpful. You do have Synopsis. The notes that they have, um, are basically about adding a note into your script. Um, and so it's there's not a lot of good brainstorming tools or something like that. Uh, as much as I like Fade In, I think this is a place where they could use some help. So let's take a look at three resources today uh, that are free that you can help use to do any pre-work around your Fade In script. Now the reason why I think pre-work is important is because it allows us to not have as much writer's block. I think where people tend to, when they don't have a plan, um, and they're trying to get from point A to point B, and they don't have a plan on how to get there, they meander, and sometimes the writing gets really hard. When you don't have to worry about that, when you have a plan, a map of what you're going to do next, uh, it makes writing easier um, and helps you get that first script done. So today we're going to take a look at Notion first. So there's a Notion template. Again, this is free. Um, and so then I'm actually going to show you, there are paid templates for this, but I found a great free template. So I basically just signed into my Notion account, which you're seeing right now. Um, and I haven't even started a document. This It comes up with this first part of this document here, and I simply have to select notion.com slash templates. And then it brings us to a menu where I can type in what type of template I want. So I type in screenplay, and I'm gonna select this first one here. Um, this is from Mira Nirmal. I, if I'm, I apologize if I mispronounced your name, but this template is free. Uh, and it's, I took a look at it, and we're going to take a look at it here in just a moment. It's really a pretty nice template. So what I did was, so the template has come up for me here. And then with this, I can, you can see I can change the title. I can put the title right here. So the nice thing about it is she talks through each section. So what the purpose of each section is. Um, and you can go through and see... Um, what the logline is. If you want to know a logline is a concise one sentence summary that encapsulates the core premise and conflict of a story. You have a part for synopsis. You have the three act structure. And then she also has uh, the step outline. Uh, for step outlines, I like to have a little bit more uh, involved with that, but I could create that myself. Uh, but it's nice to have a step outline. I normally like to do, so I already do about every five minutes of the movie. So that way I, so that's sort of my step. So I'm like, okay, I know what what I'm doing for this five minutes, I know what I'm doing for this five minutes, and it can help me as I'm writing to to know what sort of the goal posts are uh, as, as I'm going. The nice thing, she does have these extra pages down here, and all you need to do is just simply click on them. You can go to mood board, um, and the, a mood board is again sort of a visual representation, um, and you can add pictures here. So if you wanna add pictures, you simply have to drag and drop uh, the pictures. You can also ask the AI to help you with stuff as well too, if you want to do that. You don't have to do that if you don't want to do that. Um, but that's the nice thing is, is you can really just go about, you can add stuff here for sort of a mood board. I think she uh, innovated on this a little bit. Let's take a look. I think she's has, yep, a mood board version two. Um, again, you can select colors if you want music. I think you can add in like a video if you want um, and that type of stuff. Uh, or if you have a color palette you want to do, uh, you can do graphics, uh, a logo, vibe, anything like that, you know, that would be just hunky dory. So that's an option you can do here. Uh, she's got some other pages as well, like staging ideas, scene ideas, research, characters, which we select on characters. Again, she's had, she does a really nice job of sort of laying out who the character is, um, a character sheet, a character table. Of, so who, you know, who is who and that type of stuff. And again, this, this template is free. Now you can buy different types of uh, templates on Notion, but this one will get you going. Um, and this is nice because you can go between your fade in script and when you need to, you can look back on your Notion text. So let me know if you want a more detailed way of how to use Notion. Let me know in the comments section below and I'll let you know how to use that. 
So the second one I want to talk to you today is pre-write. Now I've done a previous video on this and you can look up in the card and you can click on that and get a more detailed explanation of that. So again, if you're just making one project right now, that first project is free. And again, it's very powerful. I really enjoyed using this. Um, it's got a timeline feature so you can sort of put the timeline as to when this scene happens or this next scene happens. Uh, it's got a card feature like most of the screenwriting programs. Uh, the nice thing about this, it actually does have a screenwriting part when you can use the screenwriting function here again i prefer fade in but if you wanted to you could write here as well too again a nice thing about character you can click on a character and you can add details about them so again this is sort of again a nice sort of function again you can you can drag and drop uh, pictures in and stuff like that so give that other video a look see and see if this is something that would work well for you uh, but again this option is free and again it's helping you get a handle on your story so as you begin writing you can just go from a to b to c to d as opposed to thinking a well how do i get to b well then i gotta get to d how do we get there from c you know so this is really going to be helpful let's take a look at that last one the next one i'm going to take a look at today is called milanote.com again it's free because i'm not working with a team or anything like that it's really got some easy directions on how to work on stuff and so basically what it ends up doing is you take a board you select the board and then once you get into a board you can and it'll ask you this it'll ask you what type of template you want and i had for my first template uh, brainstorming for a film and so this is sort of the stuff that comes up for this so again you can sort of see here uh, there's a lot of different things i can enter uh, a url if i have a website that i want to sort of reference it can add images i can start typing i could have the film title and i can add these different things here so it's very much like final drafts beat board again this is totally free and it's if you want a video on detail of how to use this more precisely let me know in the comment section below and i'd be happy to talk to you through this but like i said you can see here how easy it is to you know i can download images so i was just working on some stuff we can i can download an image just as quickly as that so you can see how easy it is just to add an image as opposed to typing i just click on the box and i start typing away i can also change the color of the card uh, to make it a different title as well too i can change everything from the theme here i could just say character or i want to talk about plot or whatever the thing is you can see how easy it is and how uh, i'm able to change the elements fairly quickly so pre-writing do you do that um have you been struggling to find something for fade in to help you with getting making it easier for you to write were these things helpful was there any that you want me to go in more detail so you can get a better understanding of how all they all work if if so let me know in the comment section below until the next video live well and write well and keep writing i know that's the hard part right now but keep writing consistency will will get us there until the next video